two brewers Yukon single malt whiskey release 15 and 16. Should you grab these? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. What up my whiskey people, Mark here from Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you two brewers, Release 15 and Release 16. Release 15 is part of their special finishes category. They have four categories and Release 16 from their classic range and a little bit different. The 15 is finished for a time in X sherry casks. The 16 is meant to show off their house style and it's a little bit more centrist in uh, in style. Let's hurry up and get these poured. First of all, though, a quick shout out to two people over at Yukon Spirits. Dave Gardner, who handles part of the Alberta area, and also Heather, who is the one who sent me these fine samples. All right, so a release 15 into the Glencairn. We'll go about 15 milliliters in. Save a little bit. And release 16. Go pour from here. There we go. All right, now let's see if I can handle checking the color out for both of those at the same time. I've done it before. It's not that easy with the way I set things up. Okay. All right, now what do you see there for color? I'll have to look at that myself. These are all natural in color, and yes, that special finishes, Release 15, is just a shade darker. Pretty much your standard, we'll call that 12, 14K gold, and then the Release 15, just, just a hair darker, not much at all. Beautiful colors, though. And uh, legs, we'll look at those very quickly as well. Can we do that at the same time, too? All right, let's have a look at the legs. Pretty slow to form there. The Release 15, absolutely beautiful legs. Release 16, a little bit slower to start actually. Might actually mean it has a thicker mouthfeel, but we'll see. And ABV on both of these is 43% ABV. We will start with Release 15. It has a real sort of Highland style. Always that grassy note that I like quite a lot. Also some honey here. There is so much vanilla going on here. It's really beautiful. The sherry is really taking a bit of... It's kind of like the understudy in this particular recital. <laughs> it's a very fresh nose, very appealing. Tiny little bit of ginger. No cinnamon here. Ginger, vanilla, that grassy note. Maybe some dried apples. A little bit of pineapple as well. Very nice. All right, let's get onto the palette for release 15. Hmm. Such a joy to drink, and it really follows through from the nose to the palate here. Some honey, some spice. There's a little bit of nutmeg in the palate. Mmm. Big vanilla as well. Can't really call this a sherry dram. This is more of just a light little bit of a a slight little twist with sherry casks, but very, very lovely. The finish on this one is a solid medium. Not very dry at all. Good flavors. That bit of ginger, grassy notes, vanilla, sweetness. A little bit of honey also on the finish. I do quite like that. Okay, let's check out release 16 on the nose. This one's a little bit more robust. 
and I feel like it's probably slightly older than the special finishes by maybe about a year on average. It has a little bit more substance to it. There is... Even more vanilla here. And I know they've played a little bit with um, chocolate malts. And I wonder if I'm getting a little bit of some kind of a special dark malt here mixed in with the regular pale malt that is typically used in the production of whiskey. It has a very rich aroma. Hmm. Very well aged, but a very light, delicate palate. So easy to drink, this one. Hmm. This is a absolute shoulder rubber. <laughs> shoulder rubber? This one really rubs shoulders with the likes of Glen Morangy 10 year old, with um, uh, the Deanston, Deanston uh, bourbon aged. 12 year old, I believe that's, that's bourbon aged, with um, some of the Tom and Towel. Very light, very fresh, very easy to drink, and just a nice round uh, sweetness. This has some apples, some stewed apples. It's got some of that richness that I mentioned from the, uh, the malt. Kind of like a like fresh toasted bread, white bread. In the finish, actually, I'm getting that typical two brewers, very umame style of flavors going on. It's savory, it's sweet, it's so well balanced, and it's just a delight to drink. Beautiful. Hmm. So far, I'm really divided as to which I prefer, but let's add a dash of water. And yeah, I'm still getting used to my new setup here. I'm only going to add a couple of drops. That was maybe three. There we go. It was so great this year back in, I guess that was April, when Dave Gardner came to Winnipeg just to hang out, give a little tasting, a little master class to the Winnipeg Whiskey Club. We were so happy and everybody loved the whiskey. I think we sold, I want to say seven, seven bottles that night. In addition to what we enjoyed together, everybody was really, really thrilled with Two Brewers. So if you're in Canada, I highly recommend you to check out Two Brewers, Two Brewers Yukon Single Malt Whiskey. And even if it's not available in your home province, try and see if you can get yourself one from another method, be it um, an online retailer that may ship to where you are. Some places don't allow that, however. Or if you've got a friend who's traveling, ask them to bring you home a bottle of Two Brewers Yukon Single Malt Whiskey. You'll be really happy. All right, let's check those out now with the water added. And we'll do these side by side. I almost get a slight little bit of peat here in the special finishes. They do have a peated range and I wonder if there was any influence here. Be it in cask or otherwise. It's got a little slight smoky note to it. Hmm. That sherry is playing more of a part here with water added. And I'm getting a slight milk chocolatey note coming through, which is quite nice. Hmm. Excellent. Now, a quick slurp of coffee. Goes nicely with coffee. <laughs> oh, 
All right, so how about number 16? The nose is so engaging here. Apples, stewed pears, pineapples, candied ginger. It's such a beautiful sweet nose. Dark honey, like Manuka. Maybe a little bit of maple syrup. Dark maple syrup. Yeah, a little bit. All right, the palate. Cheers, everybody. As part of the classic range, this really does just hit all the bases. It's got that little extra bit of age, I believe. It's got some nice um, white fruits like apples and pears, uh, a little bit of pineapple. It's got lots of vanilla, which is nice. It's got a little bit of honey. It's got a little bit of maple syrup. But it is just such a nice, easy drink. Hmm. And the finish, by the way, I think I didn't mention the finish on 16. Slightly dry. Great flavors. All of those fruit flavors, lots of vanilla, a little bit of ginger, and it is medium to medium long in that uh, that range. It'll be really exciting when Two Brewers puts out a 10 year old. I know that I think there is an age statement coming soon, I believe. So I'm really, really excited about that as well. I love what they're doing and I'm so happy with um, the standards that they adhere to, putting out higher strength at 43, 46%. They've put out a cask strength as well. They are very open about the fact that they're, they are uh, mixing ages. Um, so we're looking at probably four, five, six, and seven year old casks potentially going into these. Now when they start putting on age statements, there's really nothing stopping two brewers from taking over the Canadian single malt market. Of course, they have two, even three real competitors now in, uh, well, the original single malt makers, Glen Breton, also Shelter Point, who I are putting out excellent whiskey as well, and Lauren McKinnon from Central City Brewing, which I have to really explore more. I'm really looking forward to trying more from them and seeing what's going on with their whiskey. But so far to my palate, Two Brewers. Uh, two Brewers is tops. Shelter Point is a, a absolute challenger. Glen Breton is also there, but I have a hard time getting Glen Breton. We used to carry it in Manitoba, no longer. Anyway, rambling here. Final taste, 15 and 16. There's a beautiful fresh grassy note that I mentioned in that one. And in the classic, it's got a little bit more um, subtle baking spices, more vanilla, a little bit of that maple syrup. Mmm. Outright, unmistakable milk chocolate note here. And I do wonder if Pete played a part in this one. Just so well put together, that 16. Really beautiful. All right, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey scores for release 15 and release 16 from Two Brewers Yukon Single Malt Whiskey made by Yukon Spirits and Yukon Brewing in the Yukon of Canada. All right, for release number 15 of the special finishes, I'm going to give that an 87 out of 100. You heard it, 87 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for release 15. A delight to drink. I really love it with a little bit of water added. And you get this very unique chocolate, uh, milk chocolatey note. For release 16, that's going to get 88 out of 100. Yes, 88 out of 100. That's the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for release 16. So well put together. Slightly older, I do believe. And... Just a beautiful rounded flavor full of full of everything that I love. It's got a little bit of vanilla. 
It's got a little bit of maple syrup. It's got beautiful white fruits like apples, stewed apples, stewed pears, a little bit of pineapple. That little bit of candied ginger makes it a real delight. All right, so 87 and 88 for release 1516. Again, thanks again to Two Brewers for being such a supporter of Whiskey Whistle. And speaking of support, if you'd like to maybe jump in and support the channel, then check me out on Patreon, patreon.com backslash whiskey whistle. Become a 100 proof supporter or a 110 proof supporter or become a cask strength supporter. Check that out, okay? And if you are watching till now, why not subscribe to the channel, click the link right over there and hit that bell. Bing! So you're notified of the future Whiskey Whistles. That is the finest way for you to help the channel by clicking that bell so you are able to follow along with all of the new Whiskey Whistles. Thanks so much for watching everybody and make sure you check out Two Brewers Yukon Single Malt Whiskey. Have a look at their website, twobrewerswhiskey.com. Take care everybody. Goodbye now. Thank <laughs> you.